Have you ever heard a song and immediately knew it was a hit? Since its release in April, a bar song, Tipsy, has rapidly climbed the charts, taking the music world by storm. If you check out the video, yeah, it's one take of us just having fun, and I feel like every time you, complete, you hear that song, you just know it's just a time just to have fun and let loose. So um, I, I think I would love it for, for it to be the song of the summer, you know? If that's the case, then it's gonna be a good summer. Song of the summer? What about song of the year? Shabuzi scored his first ever number one hit on the Hot 100 with a bar song after only 12 weeks on the chart. This is history as he becomes the first black male artist to reach number one on Billboard Hot 100 and the Hot Country Song Chart simultaneously. So what's next? Tours, hopefully more music, more collaborations, more videos, more more everything, honestly. I'm super excited to, to keep just putting out, you know, pushing this record and, and, and hopefully put out a, delu a deluxe. Yeah, yeah. So, raise your glasses, turn up the volume, and get ready for the deluxe Shibuzi experience. Oh my, good lord. Lainey Wilson says what we all know in her song, Country's Cool Again. Country music is having a moment, and I don't think the moment is slowing down anytime soon. We just put out a song called Country's Cool Again, and I'm not talking about just country music. Of course, I mean, everybody's wanting to be a part of the genre, and I think it's awesome, but more importantly, I mean the Western way of life and the culture, the way that I grew up on the back of a horse, wearing my Wrangler jeans, even just down to the way that I talk. It's really cool to see people start embracing that way of life. And I take a lot of pride in it. And a lot of people that grew up the way that I did too, they take a lot of pride in it. So I think it's awesome. If country music makes you feel at home, crank it up. Be sure to crank up her new album, Whirlwind, when it releases on August 23rd. Hold on to your cowboy hats, folks. Thomas Rhett has some exciting updates. This is a big year for us. Um, we're not playing many shows, but this is the first time that I have ever actually had the time to release like an album like not slammed between a whole bunch of shows. And so we're releasing a new record called About a Woman on August 23rd, put our first song out in May, and like three or four more over the course of the summer. 14 tracks, um, it's my seventh album. I can't believe I'm saying that, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put that out in August and, and hopefully uh, announce a big tour for next year. Thomas says About a Woman is just kind of like 14 tracks of new ways to say I love you to his wife. Jelly Roll recently had a moment he'll never forget. When I think about coolest moments of my career right now, top of there has to be this thing that I got to go sing with Eminem in Detroit. I got to sing Sing for the Moment with him, which is a record where he sampled Steven Tyler. I mean, just what an incredible night. And I got to go do it in Detroit. It was unreal. M reached out, his team reached out and said, would you be interested in doing this since he was already there doing the secret tribute? I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a joke until I met Eminem himself. I thought I was being joked. Come on. I was giddy like child. You could see it all over my performance, just the kid in me. I thought the camera was off of me, so as soon as I get through singing, I'm like, woo! I just let this steamroller out. You know, it's just it's really cool. So the next time you're feeling starstruck, remember even your favorite stars have their fanboy moments too. That's your news update. Stick around for the Country Network's Top 20 Countdown coming up next.